Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. So we're gonna get started right now. And there's Primal Groudon. So we will start our episode right now and uh, we're going to be taking on the gym. Oh, why is it showing double? That is weird. Huh. That should not be happening right now. Is that better? What happened? Huh. Weird. That never happens to me. So, let's just switch that out. I never had that happen where, like, it switched out on me. There we go. There's the game. So, we'll begin shortly. Alright, so, let's officially begin. So, last time we left off, we got Beldum. We have Surskit, which really isn't something I'm going to plan on using. Sally isn't really going to be that good for this gym. So, we're going to put him in the back. Mudkip, Gondor, and, uh... And Beldum are probably going to be what we're going to have to use. Uh, so let's see here. There's another trainer that I didn't battle. And he's on this route over here. He has a Magikarp. I believe. Yes. Oh, and there's an old lady over here growing berries. She has a Chesto. Now, if you know anything, Chesto, Resto. Just so you know if you have, like, a Crocoon strategy. Very cool. Ranberry. A cherry berry. Okay. A ranberry. Cool. Oh, a Pokemon expert. Cool. Very cool. Ivan the fisherman. Got Magikarp here. Beldum, go! Alright, so water type actually resists steel, so we're gonna go with Zen Headbutt this time. <laughs> Splash does nothing. Alright, so that Magikarp is pretty much, uh. Carpe Diem. It's, uh, it's breakfast time. Alright, so we're gonna take on this Magikarp and it's down! Okay, ma another Magikarp! This is gonna be fun. Zen Headbutt time! Splash! Does nothing! So, let's go for another Zen Headbutt! Gotta love that Splash! So Beldum gained some experience points, and we leveled up to 10. Awesome. Alright, Mudkip grows to 12. Foresight. Um, we don't need Foresight. That's useless for us. We don't need it. No. Magikarp. Uh, we'll keep out for Magikarp. Another level 7. Going with that Zen Headbutt again. Another Splash. You know, I've seen a Magikarp with, like, Focus Sash and Flail, and that's a pretty good strategy. If you switch on to, like, a Baton Passer, that's pretty good, as long as you don't get nerfed by rocks. So, anyway. So we're going to be taking on Roxanne at the gym. Sweet, but we will need that Quick Claw. Okay, and I believe the teacher gives us a Quick Claw. Students who don't study will get a little taste of my Quick Claw, you see. Whether or not you're a good student will be evident of the way you use this item. Okay. Quick Claw. Occasionally speed up and get to move before the opponent. Uh, just those alone will give you topics to study. So, I'm going to give it to Beldum. Just because that Metagross Stone will not really be useful until he, uh you know, evolves into Metagross. And that's gonna be a while because he has to evolve into Metang. And Metang is like level 30, I think. 
I'm not 100% sure. If you know when Metang evolves, let me know. Oh, and don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget, we are giving away copies of the game! Hello! You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle and all that learned from Pokemon trainers. If you defeat me, I'll present you a Pokemon Gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please accept the challenge. I look forward to challenging you. Until then, farewell. So we got a couple of gym trainers to battle here. Yo, how is it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can give you advice for winning. That's settled then. We'll aim for the championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user in a rock-type Pokemon. The rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water or grass moves. Okay, and well to go. It also can't stand, I believe, steel-type moves. I believe steel types are strong against rock as well. We'll test that out with Beldum. So, here we go. Hello! Don't take us slimly because we're gym trainers. Okay! Alright, so we got youngster Josh here with a Geodude. Hello, Geodude. I just pray he doesn't use, like, Earthquake because I will be in trouble. Okay, so Beldum will attack Iron Head. It does a lot of damage. Sturdy, unfortunately, takes effect. We got that defense curl. Uh, these defense increasing moves are ridiculous. Okay, so another Geodude is down. Beldum gains some experience points, so does everybody else. Another Geodude. Okay, Geodude will go down pretty fast with that Iron Head. But that Sturdy will pick up, unfortunately. I... Oh! No Sturdy on the Geodude. We'll go with Zen Headbutt this time. Zen Headbutt gets rid of that Geodude very easily. Okay. And Gondor grows to 10. Yeah, Josh's gone. Yep. Goodbye, Josh. Alright. We'll take on this other trainer. If you can't beat me, we won't stand it. You won't stand a chance against Roxanne. That is very true. So here comes Youngster Tommy with a Geodude. Youngster Tommy, let's go with Beldum. Because my Iron Head will take him down very easily. And Quick Claw takes effect. Alright, Geodude going for the tackle. Okay, we'll go with Hold Back. I just want to see how much damage it does. Like nothing, it gets it really low. It'd be great if it was like, uh... If, uh, that Geodude was, uh, what am I thinking? If it was, like, a, a type that didn't resist normal moves, it would have been fine. Oh, I forget. Beldum is, uh, Beldum isn't technically my, uh, my Pokemon, so he's not gonna listen to me. This is gonna be fun. Let's see if Beldum turned away. Okay. So, it's actually kind of amusing when your Pokemon don't listen to you. And Quick Claw takes effect. Hold back. Does not do much damage. I shouldn't do hold back anymore. I shouldn't do hold back. Alright, go for Zen Headbutt this time. Pretending not to notice. It's kind of funny that it's not listening to me. Turned away. Ooh. I think I'll be fine once I get the 4th Gym Badge, because once I get 4th Gym Badge, I should be good. Loafing around. Okay, uh... We finally get, uh, Beldum to cooperate with Zen Headbutt. Cool. And... We'll go down, we'll get some experience points on that Beldum. Surskit grows to 8. And Youngster Tommy is good to go. Cool. 
So I should be careful with Beldum, because Beldum, unfortunately, is not a Pokemon that I own. Beldum is a Pokemon that I obtained via Mystery Gift. So Beldum will not listen to me. So I should be careful of that. Okay, so we're going to heal our Pokemon. Healing right away. Okay, and we'll see you later. We will switch Beldum out for Mudkip. Why? Because Mudkip will actually listen to me. We are going to give him an item. And no, it's not Metagrossite. It will be a Oranberry. Because... Uh, no, I'm not using it. What am I thinking? <laughs> I'm not using the Oranberry. I'm giving him the Oranberry. So we're giving him a Oranberry so that way that... Mudkip will be able to recover in case it gets knocked down pretty badly. So now we will be able to take on Raxan. Oh, we have another gym trainer, unfortunately. Okay, feel the power of a number two student at the school. We're killing school kid Georgia with a Geodude. Mudkip, let's go. I should have known there was three trainers, what was I thinking? Uh, we're gonna go with that water gun. Super effective. And that Geodude is out. I don't think we need to go back to the Pokemon Center, though. Mudkip grows to 13. Very good. Gain some experience. Sally grows to 11. And we de defeat the school kid very easily. Okay, so we've got Roxanne here. She is the rock type leader. She loves using Probo Pass. Uh, no, pro not Probo Pass. What am I thinking? Uh, she loves using Nose Pass and Geodude, just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle your Pokemon? Versus Roxanne. You are challenged by Leader Roxanne. Go, Geodude! Okay. So, hopefully her Geodude does not have Sturdy. Otherwise, it will be annoying. So, we're gonna go with the Water Gun, because Water Gun will take Geodude down in, like, five seconds. No Sturdy, please, Sturdy. Damn you. Okay, so she goes for the Rock Tomb, which will lower my speed and do decent damage. She uses a potion, which shouldn't restore it all the way. Which is good, because I'll be able to get it down further with Water Gun. There we go. Now, Nose Pass is pretty slow, so I'm not worried about Nose Pass at all. No, I am not. So, Water Gun time. Uses Tackle. That was a decent tackle, but my Oranberry will kick in, and we'll recover some health from Mudkip. Mudkip goes for the Water Gun, does really good damage. I'm gonna go for another Water Gun. Decent tackle. So, Mudkip doing very well against this gym. Okay, Mudkip, come on, Water Gun time. And it looks like we defeated Roxanne very easily. Alright, so Mudkip has leveled up. Beldum has leveled up. Surskip has leveled up. Surskip learned Sweet Scent. Useless. Okay, I lost. I still, uh, I still have more to learn. Gain some money. Cool. Alright, so I understand. The Pokemon League rules state that gyms, the trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept this official Pokemon League stone badge. It's like a little pin! Nick received the stone badge. Uh, the stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM moves outside cut. All Pokemon who level uh, get up to level 20 will be able to obey you in trades. Take this too. So good, uh, Beldum can listen to me, so that's gonna be useful. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but it also lowers the target speed. If you use a TM, it teaches it instantly. So you can use it as many times as you like. So let's teach uh, Rock Tomb 
to Mudkip, because Mudkip will be able to use that move. I prefer that over Mud Slap, but uh, personally I would rather go with like Rock Slide, just in like double battle situation. What is Echoed Voice? A normal move, right. So we're gonna go with Rock Tomb. And I believe Rock Tomb, is it stronger uh, than um, Mud Slap? Yeah, it's stronger. And it's a physical move. And to be honest, oh, my Mud Kip is more especially diverse. Oh, no, no, it's attack. Okay, good. Because you want a more good attack based Mud Kip. Forget. Okay. So what's my... Not that I'm very good at knowing natures, but... What is the nature of my Mudkip? It is a... Let's see... Quiet nature. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I want to say it might be bad. So... Anyway... So, that's pretty much uh, the Rust Bro Gym. Out of the way, move! Oh no! So, wait, please, don't take those parts! Alright, we're gonna have to save this uh, guy here. After we heal up first. So, we're going to heal really quickly. Yes, we will! Alright, waiting. Hope on a full health, and here we go. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you again. So, we will be heading that way to get to this gym trainer. Oh! You are there, fantastic trainer. Help me in Pelberg Woods. I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get Devin parts back. If I don't, I'll get in serious trouble. So we're gonna have to recover the Devin goods. Potion! I should probably get some repels, though. Oh, wait, uh... Uh, I missed the rare Pokemon. There's a Wizmer! I have to get it! Go, Mudkip! I'm gonna go with Water Gun. Oh, it gets it to low health! Yes! Very good. Okay. Uh, Pokeball time. Alright, I think I'm good. Are you serious? What the heck? Echoed voice, which isn't great. Alright. Uh, Pokeball time. Come on, here we go. And I've got the perfect nickname for Wismer. Um, even though it's not fully evolved to Exploud yet, I know perfectly what I'm gonna name it. So there's Wismer. Registration complete. Normally, Wismer's voice is very quiet. It is barely audible, even if one pays close attention. However, if this Pokemon senses danger, it starts crying at an ear-splitting volume. So we are going to give it a nickname. I'm giving it Boo because of uh, Dragon Ball Z. When it evolves into x -Cloud, it looks like Majin Boo. Let me show you how strong Pokemon is. So... We get Meryl here, which is going to resist my water typing, unfortunately. But it's okay, we got a rock type move. I believe rock types are neutral damage to water, hopefully. Yeah, it's neutral. At lower speed, which is good. Defense curl. Really? I hate these people that, like, try to stall the battle out longer. I mean, you, unless she uses a potion... Another defense curl. So we get hit by another defense curl. I'm gonna go for another rock to- It avoids the attack. 
and wow. And if you know anything about Defense Coral Rollout, it makes it much stronger. I was worried about Defense Coral Rollout. Okay, so she is gone. Gondor is level 12. Boo is level 7. And we defeat last Janice. Awesome. Alright. Uh. Ah, uh, great. So we're in another wild battle. It's a Zigzagoon! I gotta catch it. I gotta catch Zigzagoon. And then get rid of my freaking, uh, what's it called? Alright. I have to get rid of Surskit. Surskit is useless for me. Alright, bag time. Um, Pokeballs. Pokeball, go. Pokeball, go. Catch it. Yes! I guess I'll name it after what it should be when it evolves. And this is when I was like a, uh, I was like in high school. So we got Zigzagoon in my Pokedex. Registration complete. Zigzagoon restlessly wanders everywhere at all times. This Pokemon does so because it is very curious. It becomes interested in anything that it happens to see. Yes, we will give a nickname to it. And the reason why I call it No One or Ninoon, which is the other name I give it, is because um, its evolved form is Lanune, and I prefer that that name. So, anyway, that is another gym train. I'm not gym trainer. Another trainer, Hiker Clark with Geodude. But we'll be fine here. Water Gun will easily take care of that. Alright, Geodude is gone. And Mudkip levels up. Mudkip should be evolving very soon. I like how I don't have to change my Pokemon at all. Geodude time. Water Gun, here we go. And unfortunately, it's Breaks it down to 1 HP. It's a rollout move. Okay, we're gonna go for Rock Tomb just for giggles. I beat you with a not very effective attack! Ha! Huh? Okay, so we, be we beat it, and Sally levels up to 12. Hiker Clark is beaten. Awesome. Okay, so I will talk to this guy. What's going on? I dig through a tunnel of tools. Loud noises, heavy equipment for tunneling. Okay, that goon will do something stupid and start a lot more Pokemon. Oh, what I do today? People walk Pico and that old thug, and then the scoundrel made off my darling Pico. What are you, Pico? So we gotta save Mr. Briny. Mr. Briny has his legend, his, uh, well, to him, it's his own legend, uh, Wingle. Named uh, Pico. I don't know why, but... So, in another battle... Wismer, I have already caught you. I'm going to run away. Sorry, Wismer. Let's go. Why are you coming here? What?! I thought I was battling him for a second. I was like, no. Alright, so we got Wismer here, and I'm just gonna run away. Sorry, buddy. Running away from Wismer. Okay, this hostage Pokemon turned out to be useless, and to think I made a getaway to the tunnel. Now you're here ready to battle me. Yes, I am. Are you gonna use Numble? Because if you do, I'm ready against you. Team Magma Grunt is ready. Kuchiena, okay. Mudkip, let's go! Alright, Mudkip, time to use Water Gun. Critical hit, Howl. Howl is not great because it will higher its speed. 
going for that water gun again. Gotta get that stab. Okay, so Mudkip grows a little more. And Beldum gets to, like, 13, I believe. Did I see 13? I don't know. Anyway, we defeated the Magma Grunt. Evil deeds are undone. This is not plain right. The boss told me this would be a slick, easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. Ugh. You want them back tadly? Take them. Okay, so we got the Devin parts. Oh, we rescued your Pico. I'm glad you're safe. Pico owes your life. Freedom to you, lad. I call me Briny. Ah, uh, so sincerely, anything we do, don't have to be. It is found I'll be in the cottage near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. High time. We're on our way home. Pico! So, we will return the Devon goods very shortly. We gotta get out of here. So, what does the guy say? Grar, that goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. Thank you, I guess. Ooh, secret base! Special attack. Cool. So, I will be making a secret base very soon. Probably not now, but soon. So, oh, another battle. Another battle. Zigzagoon. Okay, I already have Zigzagoon, so I'm good. And you have to love how Zigzagoon has that pickup ability. Alright, so let's get going. Oh, a bug type trainer. Okay. I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center, but I guess I could go for a short, quick battle. Okay, so we got Wormpole here. Water gun time. I probably should have gone with Rock Tomb just because of the super effective typing. Gondor grew to 13, nice. Nikita, uh, no. No. Sorry, Nikita, okay, uh, Rock Tomb time. That should have been super effective, shouldn't it? Harden, okay. Pretty sure bugs are weak against rock types. That's what I thought. And Ninkata is gone. Boo grew to 10. Silicoon is out now. Silicoon, uh, we're gonna go for Rock Tomb. Alright, Gruda 16, awesome. I should evolve. Bugcatcher Jose is down. Mudkip is evolving. Yes! So. Mudkip evolved to Marsh Top. Nice. Mudshot. Okay, I. Let's see what Mudshot does before I switch out. It's a special move and it's lower. I'm gonna keep Rock Tomb. Yeah. Sorry. Repel. Okay, good. Oh, another battle. Another battle. Okay. What is it this time? Another Wismer. I caught you already. Sorry, buddy. Run away from Wismer. Okay. So, I think we're done with this episode. I had a really fun time this episode, getting the gym badge and everything. So, um... Just so you know, before this video we go, like this video, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. If you are subscribed and you keep following our videos, you have a shot to win a copy of either Pokemon Omega, Ru Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Uh, also, 
if you are looking for the Eon ticket, then you should come to our Street Pass event. It's going to be held Sunday, December 14th. Now, this event will have the Eon ticket via Street Pass, and you'll be able to get some cool stuff as well. Um, you'll also be able to get the fan art that you see, and we have free pizza, so why not? And there's going to be a lot of cool stuff there as well. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and, uh, you know, just like the video, and just keep following to win a copy of Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. So anyway, guys, once again, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye!